Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Molt. So happy to be here with you guys. We are doing the Q&A answers right now. So I've got a couple questions written down from many of you guys uh, on the main channel. So if you guys are here from the main channel, thank you so much for stopping by. I do appreciate it. Um, let's go ahead and jump into this thing. So a lot of you ask questions. Um, they were the same, so I'm going to go over a lot of those. Just kind of do a brief uh, intro as well for some general questions. So my name is Michael Holt and that's where Molt came from. So Holt, H-O-L-T. Get rid of the H, throw the M from Michael on there, you get Molt. Oh my gosh, that's where it came from. <laughs> uh, so I didn't make it up, somebody actually just randomly called me Molt one time and uh, that is where the name came from. That's where the name came from. So I'm 27 years old, I live in North Carolina. I grew up in South Carolina. I went to middle school and high school in Austin, Texas. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it for a, uh, a, a basis of, uh, I don't know, just who I am and, and kind of where I came from. Um, so the first question that we have is when, how, and why did you get into Clash of Clans? So when was, honestly, uh, it's a funny story. So I downloaded it like right when it came out. And I didn't really like it. I played it for a little bit and I deleted it off my phone. <gasps> what? Yep, I deleted it off my phone. <laughs> um, and then uh, a couple months later, I uh, re-downloaded it. I don't know why. I was watching YouTube videos. I re-downloaded it and I wanted to play and I was like, what the heck? Why am I... Like, where's the tutorial? The, tu the tutorial was gone because I'd totally forgotten that I had played uh, the game. Why is my... I thought my neck was red. <laughs> uh, so I totally forgot that I'd played the game and it was so weird. Uh, I don't know, it's just crazy. Like if I had started my YouTube channel when I first downloaded the game, I would probably be huge. Like I would have started when Chief Pat started. So um, it would have been pretty crazy. Um, how, uh, why did I get into Clash? I don't know, I've always kind of liked mobile gaming. I've liked how uh, calm and, and kind of relaxing and easy it is. You know, it isn't too hard to, uh, to play on a phone. You know, everybody has a phone. Not everybody has an Xbox or a PlayStation, all that kind of stuff. Um, and mobile gaming is just a fun thing that a lot more people do than other games. Uh, so that, that's pretty much how I got into uh, Clash of Clans. It, it, it's, it's funny that I downloaded it, deleted it, and then now uh, I play it all the time. So just funny right there. Uh, next question. This one's a little uh, thing that a lot of people have been asking, especially those of you that were here when I first started. Uh, the question is, are you married? Um, I was married, but I am no longer. Um, and I'm not really going to go into details as to why or anything like that, but I haven't been, uh, I haven't been married for about a year now. So that's what's going on. Everybody always asks questions about that kind of stuff. Um, but obviously it's, it can be pretty personal. So, um, yes, I was, but I am not any longer. So there's that question. We can move on from it. Everybody can stop asking, uh, what's going on there. Um, next, uh, why did I start making YouTube videos? Well, I actually started, uh, just watching YouTube and I watched a guy named Flammy. He doesn't post anymore. He was, he was an OG in the Clash community. He started posting Clash of Clans videos, um, at the beginning like you can still look at his videos from a long time ago. He just stopped posting. I don't know why. He would be huge right now. Um, he would have over a million subs without a doubt. Uh, pop my neck. And um, so I watched his videos and I thought they were entertaining. And I was like, I feel like I can do this. And so I randomly started. I still have my first video on my channel, guys. If you all want to go back and watch it on Gaming with Malt, it's hilarious. My first video ever. So funny. I sound like such a dweeb. Um, but I got into it by watching Flammy's videos and thinking, you know, I feel like I might be able to do this. And so I tried it out and I'm so happy that I did because now it's my job. <laughs> um, so what do you do for, what did I do for a living before this? So, uh, I went to the University of South Carolina and I studied visual communications, which is kind of like graphic design. And, uh, so I make all my thumbnails, all that kind of stuff. Um, and so I went to school for... Uh, that and so I was a graphic designer slash art director for a marketing firm in Charlotte for about three years I was the head of my department um, I had a couple guys underneath me that we all worked together and, and did all of our design projects and whatnot that we needed to 
and uh, I started doing YouTube about two years ago, like I just said, and I started making more money off of YouTube, and I was like, you know what, I'm loving this, I'm having fun, I can still express my creativity, so I'm going to, uh, I waited for a while until work got really, really bad, uh, just stressful, the marketing industry is very, very stressful, and uh, I put in my two weeks, I quit, and then I've been doing YouTube ever since, so um, that is what I did before for a living. Now, for some people, y'all don't understand that YouTube makes you money. So, guys, here's how here is kind of a uh, um, a shortened version of how YouTubers make money. So, we practically have TV shows, right? We practically have TV shows that you guys log on to watch. Um, and just like, say, you're watching a basketball game or a baseball game, a commercial comes on. The people that own that uh, network that are showing the the uh, the baseball game get paid by the advertisers. So, I make money by advertisements on my channel. So um, say Call of Duty wants to advertise on my channel, um, then YouTube allows them to advertise Black Ops, 3, Black Ops 3 in front of my video, and I get a percentage of that. So if you guys want to help support me and help me keep going, um, make sure that you guys watch those ads um, and all that kind of stuff. It's just, it, it helps us out. It helps us pay our bills. It helps us continue doing this. So that's how I make money now, um, is by making YouTube videos. Um, next question, uh, do you want kids someday? Yes, I would love to have kids someday. I really want a son to throw the baseball with, to throw the football with, um, to freaking build forts with, to build a tree house with, all this kind of stuff. I really, really want a kid someday. Um, I think that it would be absolutely amazing. It'd be super humbling. I would love to have a daughter as well, but I'd be worried about all you punks that are going to hit, be hitting on her and stuff, and I'd have to slap you across the face. <laughs> but then I'm also worried about my son uh, being a, a jerk or something. But hey, you know, I guess that just comes to how I raise him and all that kind of stuff. So yes, I would love to have a kid someday. I think it'd be awesome. Um, what do I do during my spare time and what kind of car do I drive? So during my spare time, I uh, do CrossFit every day. Um, not every day, but four, four to five days a week. Um, I do CrossFit, so that's a big amount of my spare time, probably about an hour and a half uh, a day stretching, working out, all that kind of stuff. Um, I love playing disc golf, especially when it's warm outside. I love playing real golf, but it's expensive. Uh, disc golf is my jam, though. Um, I ride my bike a lot. And that goes kind of into the car that I have. So I have a Toyota Camry. Uh, it's black. And I have a Thule roof rack on it. Is it Thule or, or Yakima? I think it's Thule. Uh, roof rack on it so I can put my bikes on it. Um, all that kind of stuff. So I love my car. It's a, it's a nice car. It gets me where I'm going. I don't think I would ever own a super expensive car. I feel like that's kind of a waste of money. Uh, that's just my personal opinion on it. Nothing against anybody that has super nice cars. If if that's where you want to spend your money and that's where you enjoy yourself, then that's fine. I would rather spend my money on, say, like a couple vacations, like go travel overseas, uh, all this kind of stuff, and just have a normal car. You know what I mean? Um, so that's just me. But uh, yeah, let's keep on going. So reason for getting my first tattoo. So my first tattoo is right here on my side, guys, and it says through faith. Uh, many of you guys know that I am religious. I've I've been a Christian. Uh, I've been a Christian all my life, but I haven't had a relationship with Jesus all my life. There's there's a difference between Christianity, like being a Christian and actually uh, like going to church and doing all of the the things that Christians do, and then um, having a relationship with Jesus. So uh, I've I've had a relationship with Jesus uh, since probably uh, high school. Uh, and moved on since there. So the first tattoo that I have is is says through faith. If you guys didn't know about the story with my arm, how I heard it, go watch the video on my main channel. Just type in uh, the day I almost died in YouTube, and it'll pop up. The day I almost died. Um, go watch that. It'll tell the story about my arm. I was gonna play baseball in college, um, and I got hurt, and it was crazy. I didn't know what I was gonna do with my life, and I was so like worried. Like all my dreams were shattered and gone. I didn't know. I didn't know what I was gonna do. And um, if it wasn't through my faith and like trusting that God had a plan uh, and now he's shown himself in that, like if it wasn't for my faith or through my faith, then I wouldn't be where I am. So that's why I have that first one. And then I have a bunch of other tattoos, all of which are religious. This one right here uh, is from Daniel chapter three, if you want to read it. And this one with the birds, with the bird right here and the flowers is from Matthew um, 6, 25 through 29. If you guys want to read that as well, just Google it uh, and you can see what I have on my body. Um, so yeah, 
Next, how long have you been a YouTuber and is it possible for others to do it? Yes, it is possible for others to do it, but that was the second question. How long have I been a YouTuber? Uh, May 25th of this year will be two years. So I started May 2013. I've been doing it for almost two years now. It has been an amazing two years. It's been a lot of fun. It's been a blast. Um, can anybody else do it? Yes. And for those of you that want to do it, here's what you have to do. You have to do something that you enjoy. I was just, uh, I was watching some Call of Duty videos the other day and one came up that was a Lego model of the Moors, which is a sniper in the game. And I went to this guy's channel. He has almost 500,000 subs. Gets like 200,000 views a video, and he just makes Lego models of guns. So sweet, and he enjoys it. Like he enjoys that. So if you if you have something that you're good at, you have something that you enjoy, uh, you have something that you feel like you're funny at, you're entertaining at, try it out and don't give up, guys. I didn't. Uh, I wouldn't have considered myself successful at YouTube for probably over a year. Um, it took a year. It took over a year and a half for me to be able to quit my job. Uh, before that, it was just a fun little hobby, and then it was cool because it transferred into a fun hobby that's now my job. Um, so if you guys do want to uh, be successful at YouTube, then make sure that your goal in it is to just have fun and do something you enjoy. And if you do that, people are going to enjoy watching you, and they're going to have fun, and then they are going to want to support you and subscribe as well. So uh, let's go ahead and move on. Uh, do you eat Mexican food? Dude, I love Mexican food. I love tacos. I love burritos. Tacos are my jam. Crunchy tacos, hard tacos. Don't give me none of that soft stuff. The soft tacos are okay, especially if it's like shrimp tacos. But if, if I'm if I'm just gonna order tacos, I'm getting a crunchy shell, and I'm gonna love it. Uh, you can give me a soft shell with some cheese on it wrapped around a crunchy taco. Woo! That's that's that good stuff right there. You guys know what I'm talking about. So yes, I do love Mexican food. Um, my favorite YouTuber, I would say that my favorite YouTuber is probably C Nanners or Van Oss. Those guys crack me up. I think C Nanners is uh, hilarious and he's really, really good at what he does in his videos. Um, and he's an artist too, if you guys didn't know that for those of you that follow him, uh, which is really, really cool. So, favorite YouTuber, definitely him. I used to watch a guy named B00 a lot. He played Minecraft. Um, I don't watch him as much anymore, but I do still occasionally. But C Nanners for sure, probably. Um, all right, what's better, the AK-12 or the BOW-27? I would say the BOW-27, especially the Inferno. That thing is a monster. Even though the rip is good, I do love the BOW-27. Um, now, go wipe, go wee wee, or Loonian for Town Hall 9. I would say Loonian. Loonian is my jam. I love Loonian. I think that it's super powerful. It's a fun strategy. Um, it is definitely a fun strategy to use and to master. So, Loonian for Town Hall 9. Um, sports. What sports did I play? Well, in high school, I played baseball, basketball, football. I was a wide receiver. I was a pitcher in baseball. Uh, I threw a slider. The thing was dirty. It was my slider was good. I had a good slider. Um, I ran cross country. I didn't really do much track. Um, I played some golf. And like I said earlier, disc golf and all that kind of stuff. So, But baseball was my jam. Baseball was what I was going to go um, play in college before I hurt myself. Um, the most pain I've ever been in, this right here. This was a lot of pain when I hurt my arm. Go check out the video. But getting this newest tattoo was miserable. I sat for seven hours and it was freaking terrible. But um, yeah, guys, that's the majority of the questions that we have. Uh, there were a lot more that I just couldn't answer, otherwise we would have been doing this for a long, long time. But if you guys want more of these, throw a like on the video. If we break over like 1,000, 2,000 likes or something, then we'll try and do one uh, maybe every two weeks or something like that. Just have fun hanging out, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. You guys rock. You know that. I mean, you know that already, right? Yeah, you know that. So that's going to be it. Thank you so much, guys. Really do appreciate you all and all your support. And uh, as always, make sure you keep calm and you play on for me, all right? I'll see you guys later. Peace.